Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you a fantastic summer dessert that's perfect for entertaining. It's my blackberry crumble with vanilla ice cream. I love this dessert because you can put the whole thing together ahead of time. And then as soon as you sit down to dinner, you pop in the oven and bake. Top with vanilla ice cream and you have one winning dessert on your hands. Let me show you how to make it. So in a large bowl, you're going to add seven cups of fresh blackberries. This might seem like a lot of blackberries, but once you fill them in the ramekins and they bake, they do sort of cook down a little bit and become nice and syrupy, so it takes about seven cups. To that, you're also gonna add three quarters cup of white sugar, a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice, and a quarter cup of cornstarch. Now, you could use flour, but I find that the cornstarch thickens the syrup underneath so much better than flour. You also won't have a lot of clumps that sometimes you can have with flour, so if you have it, I say use the cornstarch. And then you're also going to add a pinch of salt. So you can toss that all together, and then at this stage, you can either pop the whole thing in a big casserole dish if you wanna serve kind of family style, but I think there's something a little bit extra special about serving a rustic dessert like this in individual ramekins. So you're gonna scoop out about a cup of berries per ramekin. Then you can place the ramekins on a sheet pan and set it aside. Then for the crumble in a large bowl, you're going to add a cup of flour, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of white sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And you can whisk that all together until it's combined. And then you're also gonna add one cup of old fashioned oats. This is gonna create that really nice crunchy texture on top. And then you also wanna add eight tablespoons of melted butter, three tablespoons of heavy cream, and two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you can whisk that all together with a fork and then you'll start to see this beautiful crumble develop. At that stage, you can also add a quarter cup of walnuts. Now, if you have nut allergies, you can totally leave the nuts out, but I do think there's something nice about the little crunch. Then all you have to do is top all of your ramekins with this beautiful crumble. Now, at this stage, you can refrigerate your ramekins. I just take the whole tray and pop it in my fridge. And then when you sit down to dinner, place these in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for just 35 to 40 minutes. You'll know that they're done when you start to see the berry juice rise to the surface. And it's also kind of fun when it starts to ooze out the sides. <laughs> so don't take them out until you see the juice is flowing because that means it's nice and syrupy inside. Then you can serve these with a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. And when you bite into them, you will see how delicious they are. Between the syrupy blackberries at the bottom, the crunch of the crumble, and the decadence of the vanilla ice cream, it is such a winning combination. Now, if you need an idea for what to serve as a main course to these crumbles, I highly recommend my sticky rib recipe. That is a great one, and I will see you over there.